Okay, hey guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a really cool hideout or fort. It could even be your house if you want. And let's start by looking at the first floor that I made. I'm going to teach you how to make the rest in just a second. And the dimensions have to at least be 16 this way, four, 16 this way, 14 that way. I haven't really counted mine, but... Okay, so right here I did some loose stained glass, what kind of just looks like water. And I made some squids in it. And so I just found a pool of water, but you can also do a C. And if you're doing that, just leave enough room for one block to fit below. So then when some squids, or you can even build some in there if you want, that when they come and you can just eventually trap them in there when there's enough and then you can have your little aquarium like I did and so that's one idea if you're doing it on survival and let's go up here and so we have lava right here so when we look through the stained glass we don't see um this iron and another reason is because it looks pretty cool and so just a second I'll be right back to you and I'm back and I finished the Iron you so when you're up here, you can't tell that there's your lava below. And then, when you're down there in the first floor, you can't tell that there's iron above. And so our next part, we're going to build another layer of whatever. You can even switch colors while you do this. We're going to do, but for me, it's going to be red stained glass and... Then we're going to put some wool over it. I did the iron first so then the wool wouldn't catch on fire. And then you don't even have to build wool or anything depending on what you're doing. If you build a fire, you, you're going to want to do iron or lapazoo or anything first and then put your wool so it won't burn. And then you can build your arcade or... And you don't even have to have that lava on there like I said before. Keeps on doing that. I don't know why. Um, while we're here though, I want to show you the secret settings. If you haven't noticed what it can do. Like this one. Made the pixels worse. And I'll show you another one. Oh, this one makes you upside down. And this one is pretty sweet, I think. And then I'll show you one more. And this one is pretty cool, too. And there's also a couple more. Like, one is, so, depending on where you move, everything turns a different color. And, yeah. Okay, now let's turn it back to regular. Is this a good? Nope. Um, what about this one? Oh, shoot, I think I just passed right by this one. This one regular or I think this one is regular. Okay. Um, and I am back now. While you are doing the wool, be very careful because it can catch on fire. And that's why we did our iron below it. And also be very careful because I was building 
a really high story on one of my old houses that I did with this. And I built some lava and the holding. I switched it to I switched the outline to stained glass because my old one it was wool and the whole thing just burn up and there's nothing I could do about it. Eventually the world got deleted, so just keep that in mind while you are building this. And I kind of wish I had something else to show you. Um but this is my first creation on this world. And um I'll be I'll be right back. And I'm back and so just a second I'll return to that, but this is the world that I am that I am on. There's lava pools and water pools everywhere. So just in case you like this seed, it is eight eight eight, and I think it's large biomes. Not sure though for the world type. Seed is eight 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 though. World type large biomes, and let's go with this. And remember, you don't have to build what I'm building. You can build whatever you want. Most of you are probably going to do that anyways, though. And let's look up. And we are going to... What color? It's not showing this. Sorry about that. Um... Black stained glass. Should we use black? Okay, we're gonna use black gl stained glass. Or no, we should use we should use blue. So then we can. It's not the same color for ceiling and floor. Um, and so we're gonna do this blue stained glass. Hopefully, it looks good when we're done. I haven't really tested this ever with stained glass. Um, once you build a layer or two, we're just um, we will, what is it called? Let's keep on pausing. Um, you'll check and see what it looks like. So you build a layer or two of this. And, um, I just finished party. Kevin! Brother, I just brought some stink in the room, like he just said he just farted. But, um. Yeah. So. Sorry about how long this is taking. I finished this part and then return. And we are back, and I guess it looks okay. Not the greatest site in the world, but okay, so I'm gonna start building my living room. Um, I'm gonna build this, I'm gonna make it four or five blocks high. Um, let's go with four. And then you can build your furniture in there like I am going to do some brown couches and 
we have any carpet. Yeah, and I'm gonna do some carpet designs. And these are the colors I'm gonna be using. Might seem kind of weird to you at the moment, but you'll see what I'm getting at. And just gonna finish this up and I return right back to you. Sorry, I forgot to enlarge my screen there. It's just like my brother, I just think up there too. But, um. So, right now I'm filling my living room with water. And if you don't want the end to be filled up with water, you could also just build some water on the sides of it in a little cage or something I guess and you could also do that so um I think this idea I think this way it's kind of cool though because you actually get to float around um and it's just really fun and so let's do some stuff over here. And any more spots? I see one over there. Um, lots of spots over here, actually. Oh, shoot, I dropped my water. Um, water. And there's a couple more spots over here. So, aquarium part of our living room is almost finished, and then you can add squids in here if you want. I'm not a big fan of that though. Um, and so, so far, this is just about how you build a little fortress. And if you even want to get more into detail with it, you can make the wire just going straight. Like I said, I think it's kind of cool that you get to float around when you're doing it this way. Um, let's get a door. I'm just going to get a wooden one. That was a bad idea. Oh shoot. Um let's see. That will fix it. And so there is the living room. And I'll be right back in just a second. Okay, and I'm going to show you, I just built the perimeter of the room, but I would build a whole room of stuff in it. And the balconies, you can build them however wide you want. I usually do mine, three this way, three that way, just whatever. And I'd build it on a higher, on a high floor, so then you can come down and get all the skeletons and spiders or whatever. You can weld these stuff if you want. Um, then, so yeah, that's basically my tutorial of how to build this house. And if you and please comment, and I can make more of these about other floors and stuff to do.
and that's my video.